Very well. My mark ready. Go. They call me the Asian phenom, and I'm the best at what I do because I review everything from A to Z. Today, we are going to take an exclusive look at the B-Sod Geiger counter. I wouldn't want to be in those Chernobyl miner's shoes because they were dealing with heavy radiation. So straight out of the box, you have the instructions manual and a USB-A to USB charge cable. Don't be fooled by a small size. This Geiger counter right here can detect beta, gamma, and X-rays. Yes, you know the gamma rays that turned the green or the red hook into a monstrosity of a beast. Now the detection range ranges from 0.01 to 999 uh, USV per hour, <laughs> 999 sieverts. So that's the unit. I'm not too familiar with, but I'm sure we learned it in physics class, I think. Ha! <laughs> so upon further research, that's actually micro sieverts per hour with a detection range of 999 sieverts. So, so as you can see right here, it is a super compact size. I really like the color, the white and the orange. Kind of gives off like a emergency vibe to it. Even has a clip so you could clip it to your pocket. I'm ready to use it. Let's go ahead and power on. Hold on the power button. Ooh, it blinked. Wow, that's a nice beep. I wasn't expecting a cool LCD display like that. It said welcome. So as you can see right now, it shows the dose rate. It's locked and it's fully charged. I think it's showing the current state. 0 0.10. That reads micro sieverts per hour. So let's go ahead and get out of the locked state by holding down the play button for three seconds and then hitting the power button. See, now it's unlocked. So there are six modes or six states to this Geiger counter. What you're seeing now is the real time dose readout. Next, we have what's called the cumulative dose rate. All right, and this is the time that show that it has been used. This pen. Next, we have the what's called the average dose rate. Let's say 0 0.07 microsieverts per hour. Fourth, we have the highest dose rate, the max, and then. This is called the real-time alarm limit. And lastly, we have what's called the cumulative alarm limit. All right. So what you see on the display right now is the current real. Oh, why did it just change? I know my house is radioactive free. I don't live near electrical power plant or nuclear power plant. So let's say you want to raise the limit. I'm going, expecting to go on a trip, you know, near power plant or suspicious areas where I worry they might have a radioactive waste. I'm simply going to go to the dose rate alarm, hit the power button. Now I can change the value. It goes by increments of, um, see, don't worry, it's going to come back down, I think. That's very high. Those are, oh, there we go. So let's say we want to increase it to, uh, let's just say three, okay? I'm gonna accept that, all right? Now, let's say we want to lock the value in, simply hold down this, and then press that. Now everything is locked. Now we can test it out. I've always been curious if a microwave will actually set this off. So right now we're reading 0.10, Micro sieverts per hour. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. All 
it looks like it did oh it went up 0.12 but definitely not high enough to set off any long eh? see how it steadily increased a little bit now I say 0.15 definitely a little bit higher than normal though but not high enough to set off any alarm one more experiment let's see what the TV reads when it's off 0 0.13 to 0 0.15 here and with the TV on, is that seven seats? You're supposed to be a goddamn zero point one five or zero point one six. So basically, oh wait, it just went up a little bit. Eh, pretty much normal, I guess. Back in the studio, what is the readout now? Oh, looks like we are a little bit safer with the TV off. So as you can see, this is a very nice tool to have. Uh, especially during who knows could be the zombie apocalypse or a nuclear disaster I pray it will never happen so looks like I'm gonna definitely be putting this to good use and including it in my emergency tactical backpack because you never know when you will need it